Okay. There we go. Well, am I upside down, am I? I am upside down. Okay, never mind. Right. <clears throat> so, I thought I was going to do this at the weekend. Unfortunately, um, my co-host, Rachel, was not feeling too well. So I figured, well, I've got five packs of um, Sword and Shield uh, Pokemon cards. I've got Vivid Voltage. Uh, just plain old, plain old Sword and Shield. And then three different Battlestar ones, two of which came with a shiny Charmander and a shiny Aracuda. Now this is my little shiny book. I thought I'll open them with you guys. Why not? So let's start with the bog standard Sword and Shield pack. Now I have been playing Pokemon cards since they first came out back in the 90s. And quite honestly, I still have a few of my originals, which were actually really fun. So, I do love the Lapras thing on the front. I will admire that. Let's see what we've got. How do you want me to do these like that? The uh, video may be upside down. Hang on. If I do that then, there we go. We're champion. So, Chinchou or Chinchu, depends how you want to call it. Cookie, cookie, crabby. Minchino. Ooh, Galarian Ponyta. That's cool. I noticed some of the latest ones have had some really weird uh, drawings. These ones have been all right so far. Got Cottony. Ah, here's our spot shiny. Great. So our foil card this time, or shiny, whatever you want to call it, is an ordinary rod. You can either shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile back into your deck, or shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your pile back into your deck. Great. I love a shiny trainer card. Yippee. I'll put that with my Aracuda. Oh, I'll show them in a little bit. Okay. We've got a Mudsdale. That's quite cool. Double impact, 120 damage for each heads. So if you get two heads on that, you can do 240 damage. You can beat most things. Fire energy, Galarian Linoon. Ooh. I always, I mean, I know that they were going for more of a Ziggy Stardust sort of feel. So I, I dig it. If you don't know who Ziggy Stardust is, I advise you to go and have a look. Uh, energy switch, trainer card. Uh, buy sharp, and of course the Q QC code. So nothing really exciting out of that pack, with the exception of our craptacular sparkly ordinary rod. Now let's go this way. I feel that the next one we should really go into is the vivid voltage, being the other one that is kind of. Random, essentially. The other three are all uh, battle styles. This is the only other one that's not. So let's take a let's take a look in this one then, shall we? I have no idea what the hell that is on the front. If that's a Pokemon, I don't know it. So, Sandile. Okay, where am I putting him? Here. I hate Oshawott. I'm... Hey, David Nordman. Oh, it's an ore beetle. What the... What gen is that? What What gen is ore beetle? I will be honest. Give me gen 1, gen 2. I can name them all. Gen 3, I can name them all. It's probably where my interest started to really dwindle, shall we say? You thought eight. I have no idea. You're probably right. But yeah, I Gen 1, Gen 2, they were my thing. Gen 3, uh, yeah, I could do them. I dig I dug some of them there. Gen 4, with the exception of Munchlax, couldn't care less. And the only reason I like Munchlax is because that's the baby version of me, since I'm a Snorlax. I got to Reshram and, and Charizard Tag Team GX. How good is it? Oh, um, 
Well, Charizard, good for you. I love Charizard. Reshiram, isn't that the, um, is that the Pokemon White or the Pokemon Black? Either way, I don't get them. Once they got to that point where basically the legendaries stopped being rare and just became, oh yeah, you know, you're a ten-year-old kid, welcome to this world. By the way, these are gods. And you can catch the gods. And they can walk around with a ten-year-old for the rest of their life. That's the bit where I stopped caring. Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, they were legendary because they were so rare. Lugia, same thing. Ho-Oh, same thing. Celebi, although it became a time traveller at one point. Yeah, true. When I used to play the original games, everyone was Charizard, and I was always a Venusaur guy. Ironically, there was only a Squirtle one, but I will show you, actually. Wait there one second, guys and girls. I will show you now. Always got my Bulbasaur with me. <laughs> and of course, Chico. So yeah, they sit here as well. They'll keep an eye on it. Since Rachel can't be here. Ba ba ba. Yep. Chikorita is my one because Rachel, her nickname is Bayleaf or Bay. So Chico is her baby is baby her. I do have a little Munchlax as well. Unfortunately, um, well, it stays with Rachel. He stays there and looks after her. But I have got my birthday present, which was my little Bulba. So we'll keep them. And I'll move my mouse. There we go. They can keep an eye on it for us. So yeah, Gen 1 was my dig, but I was always a Venusaur guy. So let's have a look. So we got Squash a Watt, one, as I said before. I think it is, personally, I think it's a dumb design. I don't get it. I understand that it's, you know, supposed to be some sort of like sea otter. Unfortunately, I live in a country where sea otters uh, and river otters are quite common, and it looks bugger all like one. But yeah, so we had, Bulba, you're going to have to move back. Oh, back, Bulba, sorry, Bulba, Chico. So we had Sandile, Squashawatt. I love Pineco. I like Pineco. He he was one of the first Pokemon I got from a headbutt on Pokemon Gold. And I had that for a trust through the whole game. So, Pineco. Clefairy. Now, the thing that gets me, this Clefairy is a psychic type. Now, this these decks are from the generation when fairy types exist. It's also from the generation where things are getting fairy types everywhere. This one is a psychic type Clefairy. Now that's usually only reserved for ghost, psychic, and um, poison. So this is a weird outcast Clefairy. I don't get this. That's new on me. But we'll put it down. Oh, of course, everyone's favorite Pokemon, that. The Dynamo, Tynamo, Tinder, that, that one. That must have taken months of creation. They must have wrecked their brain to get their head around that one. Oh, there you go. How's that then? Shiny pop star. Can I share the online cards? Ooh, that will depend. I don't know. Maybe I'll um, maybe I'll have to do some sort of maybe um, a giveaway of some sort. Maybe I'll you know randomly, and I'll um, I'll send you the screenshot of it for you to for you to do it. Depends. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe I'll pick it from my uh, from my happy little um subscribers because you know they're ever growing but we'll see depends how i'm feeling so yeah there's mr tornadus tornadus taught him we'll pop him over here we'll pop him in my book in a moment oh and straight from one to the other not shiny but it's a terrakion it is a rare is it a rare it's a rare it's not shiny, though. That would have made things better. I think I would have preferred him shiny to that thing. 
Who I, whose idea was it to make some sort of anime cloud monster? I don't know. We've got Terrakion. Junk. Junk. Stone energy. That's not stone. That was always fighting type. <laughs> oh, we've got electric. <gasps> See, this is more my jam. Some of them do make no sense. Hi, I'm a 10-year-old boy. Let's catch the weather. This is me. This this is this is more my jam. You like this, Bulba? Yeah, I thought you would. Kakuna. Okay. So let's put T. Gotta love Gem 1. Why do you think I have I got the pack with this on? It's Charmander. Let's let, let's go into the big book of squirt. Let's um hang on. Can I put this down without disturbing the cards? Can you see that? Yep, I know. Easy snipe. I don't care. So, honestly, I don't care. Let's. Where does Tornadus live? Oh, he's. I suppose he's a pseudo legendary. Let's pop him here with Latios and Latios. There we go. Actually, you don't belong. You don't deserve to be near Latios and Latios. You come up here with Xerneas. There we go. Yeah, I don't care. I don't play the Pokemon Online game because, quite frankly, I think if you're going to play Pokemon cards, play it properly. Why would you want to play online? Online takes all the fun out of the collecting. You go, oh, great, I've got 700 cards online. Great. I've got a box down there. Full of Pokemon cards from my childhood, and I'm going to pass them to my kids. Right. Where should we go next? Do we want this one that didn't come with a free card, or one of these? Take your pick. I suppose I should put the ordinary rod in the book soon, but I really don't want it in there. Charmander last. Good choice. I'll tell you what. Ordinary rod, I give no rats about. Here's a duplicate Charmander card. Let's put the ordinary rod in here because I honestly don't care about it. I do have a shiny swordwood and uh, shieldwood and swordbutt or other way around, but we'll go here then. Here we go. See, this is what you miss doing the online one. That that smell, new card smell. And tearing it. Let's see if I know the Pokemon on top. Not a bloody clue. Could be anything. Not a clue. Quick. Quick. Snipe it. Snipe it. Snipe it. Oh, never mind. Ooh, down to two viewers. Don't bother me. Right. I know. You can't miss that smell. Love it. Here we go. Own Edge. Great. A floating ghost sword. That must have taken some practice. Horsey! I love Horsey. Play sword and shield. I would... You know what? Buy me a Switch. I will play the crap out of it. Rachel already wants a Switch so she can play Pokemon Snap. Unfortunately, I didn't particularly fancy spending £360 for a... For one game. Let's pop Horsey down. And Mankey, this is a Gen 1 pack. I love it. What's that? Mankey, no, single strike. You got to switch with, oh, nice. I know, weird, isn't it, Kira? As soon as I leave, everyone buggers off. What a shame. Here, look, 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 look. Just kidding. Right. Here we go. Galarian Slowpoke. What? That? That? What's that? What is that? Oh, I don't care. Here, look. Tell you what. One, two, three. Take your pick. 
Do not care. If this is how you want to play Pokemon, then go for it. I really do not care less. I'm never going to use them. I put these in the bin. Always do. I don't post them. I don't sell them. I don't care. No, I know you don't. I know you're right, David. I'm just saying. Go for it. Fomantis. What's that? The sickle grass Pokemon. What's that? What? How does it look like a sickle? What is that? Right, let's move them out of the way again. Sorry, snipers. You have to get in a minute. We got a shiny corfish. Do I have a shiny corfish yet? Let's consult the squirt book. Do I have a shiny corfish? Mewtwo GX, Suicune, two Kangaskans, original Nido Queen. Reverse Hollow. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the card's high, but not the card. Uh, not the character. I don't. I've got other random stuff. Let's just pop it in. These aren't really necessarily in an order. Let's just... Chico, you're supposed to hold the book. Thank you, Bulba. Let's pop Corfish in. Oh. Let's not be an idiot about doing it, because, of course, it's only on that side. Boop. We're in. Lovely. Right. Get over here, you sickle grass menace. Anyone want to explain what that is? Yeah, he's a good boy. Uh, do you want to explain what this is to me? Do you want to explain how this became a Pokemon? Was this inspired by the Beatles? Or was it inspired by 1960s tripping? What is this? It's called... It's called the Placid Pokemon. Uh, uh. That's not a Pokemon, that's a grandad. Dragon. Energy. Level ball. Because, you know, catching Pokemon happens in Pokemon card games. Single strike, I don't understand. This card can only be attached to a single strike Pokemon. If this card is attached to anything else, discard the card. What a stupid idea. And Luxio. And this is not a single strike. This one's a rapid strike because they're really trying to make the game convoluted. But still, I know a lot of people like Luxio. There you go. Meow, meow. Right. This isn't going to be a long stream because I only have five packs. I was going to do this, as I say, with my co-host. Unfortunately, uh, she wasn't feeling well. So I just thought, Nickers, I'll do it on my own. I'm not worried. It's nice, to, it's nice to make new friends though, David. You know, you're welcome back anytime. If you plan to be an overseas nurse, feel free to check out our other videos. Or if you like baking, check out them. Or check out our random YouTube shorts. They're always fun. So, we go to this one. With our free Aracuda card. I don't know what an Aracuda is. But, whatever. Ooh. What you do is you throw your thing on the floor. Then you put them in here with duplicates, because I already have an Aracuda. And before you ask, this thing was cheap, and I'm just going to use it for cards that, yes, they are shiny, but they're duplicates, and generally, or they're either duplicates or things I don't really care that much about. And that sits inside my Chungus Pikachu. Chungi! Right. So, finally... An Empoleon. I know, see, I know Empoleon. Doesn't mean I like Empoleon. I mean, it's not a bad design. I actually quite like his design. The middle evolution, though, Primplup, is kind of my Combuscan problem, where it goes between cute and badass, it turns crap. But let's crack it open. We have got another Gem 1 Beauty. We got Mankey again. Another single strike, whatever that means. Now, do you call this Mawile or Mawilly? Because I have no idea. I mean, I'm guessing it's supposed to be more, more while, like more. 
but I don't get the aisle on the end. Unless it's supposed to be like vile. <laughs> exactly. You never heard him say that. Go, ah, you know. Oh, look, my willy. Powerful vise. If that's... Tell me why you watch this. Me? Oh, I don't know. I, I have to, because otherwise I can't read what you're saying. I'm only doing this because I had some packs around I just wanted to play with them. I don't care. If, if nobody watches this, nobody watches it. My my main series is about overseas nurses. I just had these kicking around. Uh, What we got next? I've got this stupid ass thing again. The one thing I will do that others won't know is I'll be very cynical. The hell? You ever seen a fish do that? I've never seen a fish do that. For a minute, I had to wonder what the fish was doing. Whatever. See, Gem 1 again. Love it. I love Spearows. I never used them that much in the actual games, though. It's a shame, really. I was always a Pidgey man. Ah, see? You can have my Tornadus. I will take this any day. Marowak is a beast. Yeah, that's true. And the thing is, though, I'm going to be damn cynical about it. If it ain't Gen 1, Gen 2, or Gen 3 one that I like, I've probably got something to say about it. Check this out. This, this, this is beautiful. This is mine. This is beautiful. The one underneath, I will tell you now, I absolutely freaking hate. But let's get this into Squirt. Come here, Squirt. So, there's my Charizard GX, by the way. I've got two Mewtwo's, Jirachi, an Aegis Slash V, something like that, and a Cricketune. I will show you this better later. That's my second Mewtwo, it's all sort of scuffed. Right, Marowak, Marowak, where do we put you? Where do we put you? You know what? I'm going to put you instead of this Paragon Z. Paragon Z, you can go to the back. Marowak, welcome to your new home. Get in. Shut up and get in. Right. Paragon Z. There's another original matchup. Paragon Z. Oh, fudge it. Welcome to the back of the pack. Um, excuse me, Luxio. Excuse me. Excuse me, behave. Hey, get into your pile. Piles. <sighs> because everyone thought that Lickitung needed an evolution. Thank you, David. Square Porygon, or whatever it was, was the best. What the hell is that? Hmm? 8-bit Porygon, that's it. Low res. It went from low res Porygon. It went like, um, what is it? VHS Porygon to DVD Porygon to Blu-ray Porygon. But what the hell is this thing? Who thought, you know what we should do? We should take the Pokemon with a really stupid design and tongue and give it this. I despair. Fire energy. Another single strike energy. A durable ant? Durable ant? Iron ant. Why do they call it something like ferrant? Like ferrous. Durant. And also, can I just state, if it is a steel bug type, why is it a, in the actual just bugs? Surely that is a steel type, considering it is made of metal. Answer me this. Tool jammer? The hell is that? As long as this Pokemon, this card is attached to, is in the active spot. Pokemon tools attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. What? What? Why? What is this? Why does it complicate things? Oh, it looks. Boop. Why do they complicate things? That. That baffles me. I hate it. 
it used to just be you put energy cards on your Pokemon, you had trainer cards to do things with your cards, and off you go. That just seems pointless to me. Anyway, I, I divulge. Here is, of course, everyone's little fame favourite lizard. I love that Charmander. It's so cute. And it's got like little like spots as well. It's gorgeous. Unfortunately though, he goes with his brother in the Chungus decks because he is my my third duplicate of that. There. So he sits in there with his brother. I haven't got a Charm Charmander plushie yet, but it's probably gonna happen soon. I know I'm do I'm gonna get a Squirtle one soon. And unfortunately I've had the misfortune of looking on the Pokemon Center store. Yeah, I was always a Bulbasaur guy. Ding -ding. And funnily enough, my first playthrough of Gen 2 I was actually Cyndaquil. But Chikorita was always Rachel, so so be it. Uh, what we got on this one? Oh, it's that thing again. That whatever the frick he's supposed to be. <gasps> Right, Pawniard, uh, are you feeling alright David? Did your cat hit the keyboard or something? So we got Pawniard to go with our Bisharp, Bisharp, whatever. Why they decided to make Pokemon after chess, chess pieces, I couldn't understand. Another Mankey! That's three Mankeys now, we've got a mob. And we've got... Oh, Urshifu. Uh, right, okay, I'll get you. Now, anyone who lives in a country which has central heating, that is not a radiator. That is a bug. It looks like a tapeworm. How you can call that a radiator Pokemon? It looks nothing like a radiator. In fact, I'll, I'll gladly get up and show you my radiator to show you exactly what that looks like. Not like that. Sizzlipede. <laughs> what a silly name. Okay. Boltoy, I can take. I don't mind Boltoy. I'll tolerate him. Boltoy and Claydol, although weird, they had a specific role. I don't mind them. It's a shame its only card is self... Its only move is self-destruct. That's pretty crap. Here we go. Let's get on to Pokemon having pointless tools for the sake of looking cool. This evolution line. Timber, Girder, Conkledur. How does every single timber have a lump of wood? Are they born with a lump of wood? Electrode is the best self-destruct Pokemon, followed closely by Weezing. You are correct. So this one always has a lump of wood on it. Where does it get it from and how does it get it from birth? Gerda always has somehow a human manufactured steel beam. Whereas Conkledur somehow managed to carry around two big lumps of concrete. Also a human made creation. How? I mean Firefetch having a leak. That was just like, well, for some reason, when they're born, they're given a leak. Understandable. It's at least a vegetable and a plant they can get their hands on. How does he get ha get his hands on a 2 by 4 Where does it come from? That must be the weirdest shaped egg in existence. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's not a legendary. Don't get excited. But it is one that I like. It's a Lectabuzz. That's an awesome pose for it as well. That's a very Pokemon Snap pose. Look at that. That, I will say, I do love the way that some of these shinies are. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. <laughs> this Pokemon move is crap. It's called the Haymaker, which is a wrestling move. Is this a wrestling Electabuzz? 
Also, no, it's just Electabuzz. It's not Evolution of Elekid. I did watch um, Jeremy Dooley and Cat and Cat playing um, playing Pokemon Snap. They were good at it. They enjoyed it. I've been enjoying um, Achievement Hunter doing it as well with um, Lindsay and Matt. But why doesn't it say it evolves from Elekid? That's really weird. But I do love that. We'll uh, we'll consult the big book of Squirt. Hey, Squirt. Bulba, hold the book. All right, I'm gonna find. Oh no, Grookey! I know people like you, Grookey, but unfortunately, actually, unfortunately for you, Grookey, I hate this thing far more. What is a Carablast, and why should I care? Welcome home, Lecky. I always love the noise that Electabuzz makes as well. It actually sounds like it stepped on a power cable. Right, sorry, Carabunga dude. You're coming in here. There. I don't know if it's just me, but I can't look at Swordwood and Shieldbutt the same way after watching Jeremy Dooley do his um uh his Pokemon Sword and Shield uh walkthrough. Because the voice he put onto them was so funny. Anyway, coming to the end now with our Marowak. Another one, actually, non-shiny this time. Our Trash, Trash, and a Seedra. Oh, there's a Pokemon card underneath it. There is. That's nice. Not quite sure why there's a weird long Pokeball on it. Also not sure why it never became a Dragon type, considering it's classed as the Dragon Pokemon. Dragon Pokemon. And then... What? The Rapid Strike Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attack on this card. Matchless Maelstrom. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. That... Is that one-time use? Attach a Pokemon tool to one of your Pokemon... Is that continuous? Can you just do that all the time? That's a bit weird. I don't understand these new convoluted games. That is bizarre. So, let's recap and go through each of our packs. We'll mix it up just so we can have a bit of entertainment out of it. Let's shuffle them up and then let's... Um... Well, it's not shuffling really, is it? I'm hardly a shuffler. Let's just have a quick run through of what we had. So we have Chinchu, the Scroll of Dumb, Pawniard, that stupid thing, the obvious Steel Ant, but they've made it a bug type, Dumb, Dumb, really, really dumb, Baron Von Licklicky, Spiro, Tolerate, Remoraid. I still don't get why it turns into an octopus, but we won't get into that debate. Whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Dumb. Dumb. Terrakion. Rare, but not shiny. That's not bad. Months and months of research into building that Pokemon. A very, really rare Clefairy that's not a fairy type. Figure that one out, guys. Lovely Pineco. Unfortunately, super weak against fire, but it was fun. This was the Gen 2 self-destructor. Squashawatt. Sandile. Very sharp. Oh, sorry. By sharp. Twice as sharp. Or bishop. Bishop? Bishop. Bish. Yeah, him. Him. Energy switch. A floating cloud with grass wings. P 
Ponyter because it needed a remake into a psychic type. Although, as a unicorn, it does look kind of cute. Don't know why they didn't just make a unicorn Pokemon, but whatever. Uh, Chinchilla Rat. Amazing crab. Strongest crab in game. Beautiful Kakuna. I love Kakunas. Such good training. Luxio, a fan favourite for some people. Don't get the appeal myself. I love cats, but I think its ears kind of look stupid. Well, don't care about that. Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. I don't, okay, whatever. Lainun? Ziggy plays guitar. That is Ziggy Stardust. That's what it's supposed to be. Don't care. Horse. It's called Mudsdale. It's a horse. It is a horse. More Willy, or my Willy. Whatever. Hey, is it P Grandpa? That's Ringo as a Pokemon. Maybe it's John Lennon, but I think it's Ringo. Maybe British, Liverpool accent, not my strength. But that is basically John Lennon as a dinosaur. This stupid ass thing again. Slowpoke wearing a hat. I, I, I don't, I, I don't get it. Why did they remake Slowpoke of all things? Mankey number one. Horsey. A sword with a, I don't know, a scarf. Or is it a really long sleeve? It's got a, it's got a cuff on the end. It's just like a really long jumper sleeve. It's stolen. Mankey number two. Seedra, the dragon Pokemon. That's not a dragon type. That stupid thing again. That stupid thing again. Sword with a ponytail. It is. Marowak. I like Marowak. Didn't use it that much though. Bloody Pokemon that's born with a lump of wood in its hand. Weirdest shape egg in existence. Nobody ever... Said, oh, what's in this egg? Who knows? It only has a weird rectangle poking out of the side. Ball toy. Tolerable. It served its purpose. Sizzlypede. Sizzly. The, the radiator that's not a radiator. And monkey number three. Cute. Right. In a minute, I will happily show you what I've actually got already, like, random card-wise. Let me just uh, put them at the bottom, because nobody cares. Let's consult the big book of Squirt. Well, I'll just move them a minute. Just so you can see any of the shinies I've already got. So, starting whoops, at the top somehow. Not very easy. I have to go be a mod in the stream, have fun. That's right, mate. I'm finishing up in a minute anyway. That's right. Uh, unless I randomly buy a load more Pokemon cards, it's not likely to happen anytime soon. I'm more into the overseas nurses stuff, but don't forget to follow. So we got my Quickatoon V, Aegislash V. That's next page. My Charizard GX. I think I pulled that from a pack a while ago. Mewtwo GX. I've got two of them. Jirachi GX. Hey, you sub. Nice, man. Then, of course, on the reverse, we've got another Mewtwo GX. Feel free. Welcome to that one. I've got an Ultra Necro... Ne let's, just, let's just show you this easier. Hang on. Hi, guys. Let me spin the camera. This will probably be easier. All right. There we go. Let's go. Let's go back a page in the big book of Squirt. So there you go. You got Krikatoon, Aegislash, 
coming down, we got uh, Charizard. These are of course all like shinies. Got Mewtwo, Jirachi, and then turning over. Second Mewtwo, you can see it's all kind of scuffed and screwed a bit. Then we move on to this. Don't know what it is. Xerneas? The one we pulled today? The... I don't know what that's supposed to be. Space Dandy character? Then we've got my favourite dogs. Beautiful ones. What were these actually? These were... I think these were from... Like special packs or something, they were something like that. I don't know the symbols that much, but they've all got a symbol in the bottom. Latios and Latios, they come from an old uh, gaming pack I bought back in 2004. 2004! See, there was a Latios side and a Latios side. I like Latios and Latios. Turning over, bugger all that side. We got our wonderful Electabuzz with the wrestling move Haymaker. Got my Victory Bell. It just shows the evolution of cards and difference as well. Because that Victory Bell is also from 2004 and you can see the sparkles on that is so different to things like that. Same with my Pinsir. I mean, look. They're really subtle. I mean, but not as... But I mean, the ride us, look, it's all shiny. But like Nido Queen, this is the original shiny. This is what we knew. Look at that. That's how we knew them. Grookey. Just a little few sparkles. Got our awesome Marowak. Two Kangaskhan. Look at that. I love Kangaskhan as well. Going over the page, we've got our Aracuda, a Chew Toy, shiny Poliwag with the original um, design. Uh, we've got Walrein. We've got two different types of coughing. Coughing. Uh, we got Jinx. I remember back. When Jinx was a controversial topic because she was actually black. Now they made a purple to kind of get over that. We got Team Magma's play doll. That was a, th a scene at one point. And notice it puts this Pokemon is both types. And we got Cutie Mistrevers. My first ever Gen 2 starter. Uh, some sort of rabbit with a bandage on its nose. Wonderful Charmander. We got this thing with a sewage pipe sticking out of its ass. Edition 1, Machamp. Look at him. Very worn card, it was used a lot. But he's a keeper. Here is lovely Pupitar. Um, Pikachu knockoff from whatever generation he came from. And then two cutie jigglies. Going over again to the final page. We have a shiny Sandile. We've got the most pointless Meowth in existence. Can't stand him. We have Swordwood and Shieldwood. Oh, nice to meet you. I can't do it as well as Jeremy. Uh, we've got Washing Machine to live longer with Shellgons. Or is that Calgon? Either way, there he is. Notice, normal type, not dragon type. This was actually 2007 edition. Before Dragon-type became a thing. 
like before Pokemon cards had Dragon type, they used to just be normal types. And of course, you got Dragonite. This was a newish one because he is a Dragon type. Our Corphish from today. We've got Porygon Blu ray edition. I still prefer the old VHS edition. And Carablast, which I think is a bloody stupid bug with a very stupid drawing. Anyway, that's going to be it for this. I only wanted to do a quick one with you guys, just to open them five packs of cards. Um, I have got some more down here. If you ever want to see more about them, let me know. I'll show you some of my old stuff. It's mostly non-shinies and stuff like that, but, you know, you might want to see it. Anyway, if you did enjoy this, of course, subscribe and like. Leave me comments. Feel free to, you know... Gift me whatever. I don't really care. I don't want anything. You know, if you are an overseas nurse and you're watching this, why? Why don't you watch my overseas nurses stuff? If you want a good laugh, check out the random YouTube shorts. I enjoy them. I, ju I just post random things up, but the Braving Britain overseas nurses thing is our main deal. The Pokemon cards, if I get some more packs or if I get some, some treats and stuff like that, of course I'll share them with you and let you see. But for the meantime... Take care, everyone, and we'll see you in an upcoming video.